All right, so you think you're gonna be the cool guy on the block and uh, set up your car with a filter attached to a metal pipe that sits inside the engine bay. So you could be all like, my car is so sick, bro. Got this new cold air intake. Well, let me tell you something. That is not how it works. A car is a very specific uh, system that requires cold or cool, at least, dense, air in order to make power. So throwing a pipe inside, I don't care if it's engine, k and uh, whatever other company or custom thing, or you're using PVC piping, it doesn't matter which piping it is. If it is not coming from an area that's pulling cool air, don't waste your time, man. Just don't waste your time. You're not gonna get anything out of it. You really won't. As a matter of fact, you can lose power because when you have the whole system inside the engine bay, you're not getting cool, dense air, okay? Like that's first and foremost. So I've got a temperature reader here, one of these things. You wanna know how hot the air is inside uh, your little cool looking, it's so sick, bro, yo! Yeah, I'm gonna show you exactly how hot the engine bay actually gets. And if that's where you're actually pulling the air from, you might want to rethink this whole thing and walk it back a little bit and actually put the stock system back in because that's the one that actually pulls cool, dense air into the engine bay to make the most amount of power. I People don't realize the way these things are supposed to work. Unless you have a completely custom thing that's pulling air from, uh, say, the wheel well or uh, the fender liner, that area where it's away from the engine. That's a different story. But those short ram things that people say are cold air intakes, man, they don't do nothing. So I'm going on a fairly extended drive here so the engine will be nice and hot. And then when I get to my destination, I will show the temperature, where the car is actually pulling air from, from the stock location, and how hot the engine bay is where you would be actually pulling your air from. And that's really all there is to it. All right, so just got to my destination and uh, let's go take a look at what the temperature readings are gonna be. So here is where the factory intake is. Let's see what the temperature is on that. 34.7. And this would be where you guys want to stick your uh, air intake filter thing. Look at that, 49.5. This is in Celsius. So let's uh, switch this over if I can remember. There we go. So Fahrenheit, looking at 93. 92, somewhere around there, <clears throat> and 117.6, so that's a drastic difference. Yeah, look at that, okay? So, there you go. Don't do the stupid metal pipe with a filter and have it sitting here because it's not actually a cold air intake. Man, my hair grows fast. <laughs> anyway, all right, so there you have it. And I, I did post uh, the beginnings of this video and people were very quick to say I'm not measuring the actual uh, intake temperatures. But you need to understand, if you have the filter where the inlet actually is sitting in the engine bay, the only air it's going to be able to suck in is the hot air from the engine. Unless you have the inlet away from the engine and then passing through the filter afterwards. So you don't have to measure the air intake temperature. It's still going to be hot air. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you like the video, leave a like. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Always helps out. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and you'll see me in my next video. Peace.